What's up guys, it's your boy Ace and welcome to top 5 tight ends in Madden 19. Actually top 5 budget tight ends in Madden 19. Been doing this series for the past few days, I have a few videos. If you guys want the best salary cap lineup on day 1, make sure you check out those other videos. If you're new to the channel, welcome, glad to have you here. Make sure you subscribe, click that notification bell for all of my future uploads. So let's get right into it. Uh, we're going to start with number 5. George Kittle. He's going to be a pretty popular pick. He comes in at number five because of his cap. It's 26. It's pretty high. Um, and it's right towards the ceiling of our budget, which is 30 salary cap. We're working, keeping everything under 30 salary cap. Uh, so he's pretty balanced. He's good at everything, um, you know, besides the route running. But really, don't pay attention to the route running on these cards uh, because none of them are very good. Um, and I mean, tight ends in general, they don't run very good routes right now day one uh, so you want to look more at like the speed and the catching and the blocking uh, that's way more important as well as the traits so kind of ignore the route running uh, but 81 speed is very good for day one I think the highest is 83 for a tight end it's Greg Olson team diamond he's gonna be way too hard to get and he's gonna be a lot of salary cap but if you really want a good tight end then go ahead have at it um, George Kittle 6'4 247 81 speed 82 excel 79 catching which is very good right now 80 spec catch um, his blocking is very average very pedestrian uh, 70 impact impact block is actually pretty good though um, I didn't notice that when I was scouting these cards um, he does brace for all hits uh, he does he makes all the catches except for aggressive uh, he does not drop up in passes he does have a high motor it's to me that's kind of important in a tight end I want a high motor there all right so that's number five Number four is going to be Will Ty. Comes in at 22 cap. He is a little undersized uh, at 6'2". Um, you know, not ideal if you're going to be high pointing streaks and stuff. But, you know, he's got plenty of size to him. And you get really good speed with Will Ty for four cap less than Kittle. It's the same speed. 81 speed, 83 excel. A little bit worse hands here with 77. Uh, the blocking is not good whatsoever. Uh, he's basically just a receiving threat. Same as Kittle, he makes all the catches except for aggressive. He does fight for extra yards. Does not have a high motor. And does not drop open pass. I'm not sure if I went over that one already. Uh, but this is a very solid card as well. And uh, number three is actually a very similar card, Gerald Everett. Um, it was pretty tough picking between the two, and I'll explain what went into that. Uh, but 22 cap as well, 6'3", he's one inch taller than Ty. Um, 79 speed, he's two speed slower than Ty. And people will say, oh, speed's the most important stat. Well, I, I agree to an extent. However, I'm willing to overlook the speed deficit for the traits. I want the high motor. Uh, and he also makes all the catches and fights for extra yards. So I went over traits. I, I picked traits over speed, uh, over the two speed, I should say. Um, and as far as everything else, he's a little bit better of a blocker than Ty. Um, and he has a little bit worse hands than Ty. So that's why he comes in at number three. Number two is going to be David Morgan, the second. And uh, 17 cap, and really what you're getting here is a run blocker. Um, if you're a run heavy guy, this is going to be someone you want at least as your second tight end. Um, if you want to really cheap out, he can be your number one tight end as a, as a run blocker. But I recommend having him as your second guy uh, with 80 run block. Very good for 17 cap. Um, 66 speed. He's not going to be a receiving threat. Um, really keep him into pass block or use him for run blocking. 70 catch is, you know, decent. Uh, but really, you're not looking to throw the ball to him. Uh, he does not drop open passes. He makes all the catches here. Actually, sorry. He doesn't make possession catches. But he does have a high motor. So that's good. Number one is going to be Moritz Bowringer. And comes in at 15 cap, 6'4", he's undersized. He's kind of like a big wide receiver, kind of like a Calvin Johnson type. Um, so he's a move tight end. That's all you're really getting. He's not a blocker whatsoever. Um, not good at run blocking or pass blocking. Uh, but he's got good speed for, for 15 cap. So he's got 79 speed, 84 excel. And then he has, so 64 catching, you'll look at that and kind of be disgusted. But really, if you kind of compare it to the running backs, um, it's pretty good. 64 catching is pretty good compared to the running backs right now. And 
you know, he's not going to drop open passes too frequently. He doesn't have that trait. And based on the beta, uh, you don't need extremely high catching to catch open passes. So he should be fine. Now, keep in mind, like I said, all these route running is not going to be too important. Um, just keep him on very simple routes, you know, streaks, flats, drags, uh, things of that nature. Nothing too complicated. And you can get the most out of these tight ends. So that is the top five budget tight ends in Madden 19 going into day one. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Please drop a like if you did. I'll be posting daily Madden 19 content. So if you guys are interested in that, please subscribe. And I will see you guys tomorrow.